All right, I'm here with Steve Garfield from uh, Hipcast and Rocket Boom. So now podcasts have come full circle from strictly audio to now featuring video. Uh, how has that changed who listens, who tunes in? Well, um, the, the big thing happened when Steve Jobs got on stage and said, hey, listen to these video podcasts, rocketboom.com and Tiki Bar TV. Yeah. And, you know, so people, a lot of people, a majority of people who might have been listening to iTunes music were like, whoa, there's video here too? You know, and that's such a big group of people. So I think that brought a lot of new viewers to video blogs and video podcasts. Mm -hmm. And uh, now, tell us a little about Rocket Boom, Tiki Bar, those big famous uh, yeah, video yeah. podcasts. Uh, well, RocketBoom.com is a daily internet news show out of New York City done by Amanda Congdon and Andrew Barron. And they put up a new video every day right around 9 o'clock, and it's about about three minutes long. So you know that if you go to RocketBoom.com every day, you'll get a new video. And in addition to that, if you subscribe with an aggregator like Fire Ant or something, you know that it'll automatically be delivered to you. And Rocket Boom features, you know, quirky internet news stories, art, culture, and it's basically whatever Andrew and Amanda, you know, think they want to, you know, just do a story on. Um, I'm the Boston correspondent for Rocket Boom, and now Rocket Boom has correspondents really around the world. So that brings uh, new views on stories, you know, what's interesting to, to people that, that isn't really being covered by the, the major news. Like one example of a story that I did last year was, <clears throat> excuse me, last year I did the MIT Time Traveler Convention. That really wasn't covered by major media and major, major media wasn't allowed in the room where they had the conference, but yet I was. So that was kind of a cool thing. I was interested in it because it was kind of quirky and weird and stuff. And that was a story I, I did for Rocket Boom. Um, and then you asked about Hipcast, and that was formerly audioblog.com. And what they are is a hosting service for audio and video podcasts. Mm -hmm. So people can easily you know, record some audio or video and post it up on Hipcast. And what Hipcast does is converts it to a flash format and then gives you a quick time enclosure for ag aggregators. So once it goes up on audio blog, you can just click a link and have it automatically post to your blog. So it makes it easy for people who don't want to get into coding in any kind of technical way of creating you know, an audio blog or a podcast. A lot of criticism about video podcasts is that people say, am I really going to watch this on a two inch screen? What do you have to say about that? You know, you have the option of where you want to watch a, pod, a video podcast. Now, the word podcast has in it pod, and a lot of people think that that means you need to watch it on a video iPod. You know, you can, um, but you can also watch it on your computer, or you could hook it up to your TV set. One thing I, I read about watching video on an iPod is if you, if you think about watching video from like this, this angle on your video iPod, to your eyes, the video looks like that big. Right. And when you're in, the, in a movie theater and you're looking at the screen, the video is like that big to you. So it's, it's equally, it's the same relatively screen size. So, I mean, I've seen some of my videos on a video iPod and they look, they look really amazing. So, I mean, if, if people don't want to watch on a video iPod, they don't have to. They can watch, you know, on their computer or where, wherever, really. All right, Steve Garfield with Hipcast and Rocket Boom. Thanks for joining us. All right, thanks a lot.